to HumbleKeys.com. Uh, I hope you guys have been blessed. I hope you've been practicing. I hope you're uh, experiencing growth in your music and in your life. Um, this lesson, we're going to take a look at uh, the song So Amazing by Ricky Diller in the key of C sharp. Uh, we'll probably look at it in the key of B flat because it's a lot easier to call out the notes and chords. But um, it's a powerful song, very powerful. I love this song. I love the progressions. I love the voicings. Um, it's simple, but it also has some turns. Uh, also, I'm going to show you some alternate uh, some alternate chords and progressions that are not necessarily in the album, but can fit in the song. Um, enjoy it. Take the chords, progressions, put them in different songs. Experiment with them. Uh, Send me an email. Teach me some chords after you figure out after you experience er, after you experiment with them, and uh, and I'll be happy to uh, take the advice. Always willing to learn. But um, let's get started. Uh, key of D flat. Got D flat as your one. E flat as your two. F as your three. G flat. As your four, A flat as your five, B flat as your six, C as your seven, and D flat as your one. Okay, so um, let's see, play the first part. We're gonna take this in chunks. So uh, first part, I'll play it in context for you. Context, excuse me. <laughs> So just that little chunk. Um, actually, on the album, it's just playing straight chords. <laughs> now I like it a little bit better with the arpeggiation. Okay, so uh, first chord. We're going to use the uh, D flat major chord. Uh, so D flat is actually an add two. So it's a D flat add two. So uh, D flat, D flat. You got an F, and you got an A flat in your left hand, and you're gonna double it in your right hand. Okay. Then we got two pickup notes. Uh, it's gonna be your G flat down to your F. So. So, so that chord is going to be an A flat, a B flat, a C, and an E flat. And we're going to double that also. All right. Got more pickup notes. Uh, it's going to start with an F. Got a B flat. Got a C and a D flat. And basically, you're separating those notes. Because that's your melody, basically. So. Okay, so those pick up notes. And then when you get to the D flat on your right hand, you're going to start, uh, you're going to play a power chord on your left, which would be your B flat, your F, and the B flat. So. Okay, and I'll show you that. And then we're going to play a B flat major chord same one I showed you uh, earlier before, which is going to be your D flat, your E flat, your F, and then A flat. Okay? So. Alright. And that, uh, the next 
next four is going to be almost like a. It's going to be a grace. Uh, it's going to be a chord with a grace note, basically. So. Um, <laughs> It's going to be an E flat and an A flat, and you're going to grace the E up into the F, and then come back down to your E flat, your D flat, and then you're going to grace again. Uh, you're going to play an A flat and a D flat, and then grace the A flat up to your B flat. Okay. Okay. So let's play that what we have so far. to it. Not even that noticeable. We're not, we don't want to get too busy. We don't want to add too much because, because this is one of those songs where the as close as, if, if you can stay as close to the simple side as possible, the song is more powerful because of the lyrics that the choir is singing. It's not so much about the music. The music's beautiful but it doesn't need to interfere with the choir. So with that being said, um, and just a subtle, uh, there's a subtle alternative that you can play. You can play. Okay. We'll do that again. Actually, let's start. We're going to do it. chord, excuse me, uh, to the F, and D, uh, the F in your left hand, the D flat, and your thumb, and hold the A flat, so, and if you want to resolve it, you can come, and that's going to be an E flat, and an A flat on your left hand, and you're going to play a C, you're going to play an E flat, and you're going to play an A flat on your right, so. So basically, that's just your intro. Now, there is a different one. 
If you want to play it and you don't have a bass player and you want it to be nice and full, you can play it just take a loop everything down an octave. So you can just play. So one thing that's going to change is you're not playing you're not playing the full chord because you're making you're just arpeggiating the power. Okay, uh, and what I mean is. show you that real quick. Um, so basically you're just playing your D flat. I'm sorry about that. Playing your D flat and your A flat on your left hand and same chords that I showed you up here on the high octave, uh, which is going to be your D flat, your E flat, your F, and your A flat. change it up on the next chord, which would be your power chord again on your B flat, your F, and your B flat. And then on the right hand, you can actually play a C, you can play a B flat, an E flat, and an A flat. Okay? And then your next chord, you can play, uh, use the 4, which would be your, uh, your G flat. D flat, G flat, and then we're going to play just a basic uh, uh, one chord, which would be uh, that same uh, one add two, uh, which would be your uh, D flat, B flat, your F, and your A flat. So let's play that. is one of the most beautiful things that you can do on the keyboard piano. Um, uh, basically, instead of... Because if you don't have anybody else, then that movement is just going to just gonna make the song fuller. So, just practice doing... Uh, So that's basically what the song is doing. And I'll show you that. Let's, let's do that. Same thing that I showed you down here. We're going to do it up here, actually. Uh, we did it in the key of A flat because we, we went to the 5, which is an A flat, and that's a major. We're going to do it on the 1. So. So, we're going to start with the uh, B flat in your left hand, uh, G flat, and the D flat in your right. And we're going to move both, uh, we're going to move uh, the bottom two up a whole step. So, we got a C in your, in your left hand, and you got an A flat and a D flat in your right. So, first step. 
first two. And then go right back to the original. Show you that rhythm wise. Okay, and if you want to resolve it, it's completely up to you. Usually I, I leave the phrase open. But if you want to resolve it, it's going to be an A flat on your left hand. And on your right, it's going to be an F and a D flat. So. from the B flat to your C, so. Um. Okay, so we're gonna do that one more time. Check it from the beginning, I'll do it real quick. So. switches over a little bit, um, which is going to be uh, Ricky Dillard's uh, solo, uh, it's like a little solo verse, um, 